Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be changing out my U-joint on my main line here. Show you guys why. So I noticed this uh, movement. Just don't want it to get worse. I'm gonna change it out. Should be pretty fairly easy. I'll take you guys through the process. joint I'm gonna be installing let's get started these are the four bolts you got to remove so there's two on this side two on this side and that's what we're doing breaker bar to get these loose and then I've just finished them off with the little Makita just like this okay. you remove these two up top and then those two on the bottom this is a size 13 with this kind of pattern it's the perfect pattern uh, for these bolts right here as you can see slide right in there two bolts up here and only one bolt wow now the bolts up top here are 14 millimeter These are the old ones here, and these are the brand new ones. Just assembling it right now. There we go. Now I'm gonna put it on. Didn't inspect the drive shaft and the yoke. Seem to be pretty tight. No little grooves or anything here or in these um, inserts. So just gotta clean it up a little bit more and then we're ready to put the new one on.
and you have to make sure that everything is seated properly. Because you're gonna get a bunch of vibration Brand new U joint on. Brand new bolts. Now that it's all done, just torque up the bolts and grease it up. You can find your torque specs right on the Spicer installation. Got my brand new U-joint installed, greased up, all torqued up. There's no more any sort of play side to side, up and down. 